my name's Becky Hurst and I'm a whistle player from the Isle of Man. I'm going to teach you a tune called Juna Jagged Kia, which means Juna for Grey Jacket. So first of all, I'll pray through the tune for you. So the first phrase starts on a G and goes like this. So we'll try that together. And once more. So the second phrase also starts on a G and goes like this. We'll do that once more. So we'll put those two phrases together. So starting on the G. We'll do that again. So the first time ending of the A part starts exactly the same with um, the first phrase. So we'll do that once more. Then the second phrase of the first time ending is this. We'll do that once more. So we'll try those two phrases together. And once more. So the second time ending is basically the same. The only difference is the very first note of the um, phrase. So instead of playing starting on a G, we're going to start on an E. So we'll do that once more. And we've got the whole A part. So what we'll do is go play the first phrase, the second phrase, then the first time ending, back to the first phrase, the second phrase, then the second time ending. So starting on G. So the B part starts on an E and goes like this. So we'll try that together. And once more.
And the second phrase is exactly the same. So we'll try um, just repeating that phrase twice. We'll do that once more. Then the next two phrases are the first time ending of the A part. So we'll try that together a bit slower. We'll do that once more. So we'll do all of that together. So starting on the E. So if we repeat all of that, then we'll have the whole B part. So let's try that. So we've got the whole tune, so let's give it a try. So starting on a G. We will go through that again, but first of all, I wanted to um, go through a piece of ornamentation, the cut. So this is used between two notes that repeat, and it is used in other places, but I wanted to focus on repeating notes. So in the second phrase of the A part, you would be able to put one in. So between those two E's, basically what you're doing is playing your first E and then just before you play the second E, you're taking your G finger off and putting it back on. And yeah, that can be used in the last phrase of the A part as well, for the first time and the second time ending. Um, and in the B part, um, there's the two Bs that repeat. So what you're doing is playing the B, then just before the second B, you're taking your B finger off and putting it back on. So once they're up to speed, the one between the two E's, 
and the one between the two B's. Um, yeah, so try putting them in and we'll play through the tune twice at a faster speed.